I want to say a big thank you to Endel for sponsoring today's video. When we take on challenges for this channel, we typically measure success in terms of increased speed, strength, or body composition. Holy smoke! But the benefits of consistent exercise go far beyond just developing a new skill or improving your appearance. Consistent exercise through life has been shown to slow the effects of aging. It can improve blood pressure and cardiovascular health, as well as reducing memory loss, stiffness, and muscle pain. Looking at the multiple benefits exercise provides, I started wondering if there are similar exercises that you can do to improve mental performance and overall brain health throughout the course of your life. So I started reading the book Successful Aging by Dr. Daniel Levitin. And the short answer to my question is yes. There are exercises and habits we can develop that can help our minds stay sharp throughout our 80s, 90s, and whatever stage Betty White is about to enter. RIP Betty White, she ain't dead before when she died because I know oh, it's coming up. With this video, I want to lay out three scientifically proven exercises that almost anyone can incorporate into their habits, no matter what stage of life you're in. Exercise number one, hiking. Recent studies have found the simple practice of walking outside increases the size of the hippocampus, the area of the brain responsible for memory. While researchers don't know the exact reason why consistent cardio exercise is linked to a larger hippocampus, it appears that just navigating a space each day, paying attention to your surroundings and where you're going, is enough to keep the hippocampus active and developed into the later stages of our lives. In fact, researchers even found similar benefits with subjects who were unable to walk. This group still saw similar benefits to the hippocampus by traveling with the assistance of a wheelchair or another mobility device. Hiking a rural trail effectively takes the benefits of an outdoor walk and supersizes them, adding additional mental stimulus by navigating an uneven trail, watching for rocks, or hanging branches along the way. And you can also add to that walk the calming effect of being in nature. Research has found just 30 minutes in rural areas with limited noise has been found to improve mood and reduce stress, making hiking one of the best exercises you can do to improve the health of your brain. Exercise number two, learn new skills. While there's been a lot of hype for various puzzles and apps that promise to boost your intelligence and cognitive health, the reality is there isn't a single puzzle or app that's actually gonna make you smarter all on its own. A 1999 study looked at subjects who increased the amount of time they spent working on crossword puzzles. While the subjects got better at completing crosswords, there were no carryover effects to their cognitive or reasoning skills. However, when we are trying to master a new skill, our brain has to work to build and strengthen different neural connections. A 2016 study from the University of California monitored the brain activity of subjects who tried to learn a new sequence on the piano. They found motor areas of the brain lit up in subjects while they were concentrating to learn the piece. But once subjects became comfortable playing the sequence back, their levels of brain activity decreased back to normal. What these two studies seem to suggest is it's not simply the act of concentrated work that improves brain health, but concentrating on something that is outside our comfort zone, presenting new challenges for our mind to work through. And the consistent practice of engaging in mentally stimulating activities has been found to delay cognitive decline from conditions like dementia and Alzheimer's. And I do wanna be clear, these habits have been found to delay and reduce symptoms. They are by no means a cure or prevention. The reason these habits help is simply because the more we strengthen our neural pathways, just like our muscles or joints, the less susceptible they are to damage later on. And I feel like I'm burying the lead a bit on this, but yes, playing video games absolutely counts as a cognitive demanding task that has been found to improve brain health. So keep that in mind next time you're getting your triple collateral on free for all. Oh baby! Triple! I don't even know if that reference still even works. All of my video game references are from 2011. Anyway, exercise three, make time for recovery. While we don't think of recovery as an exercise itself, getting a proper recovery through foam rolling, mobility work, and sleep is a foundational part of sport performance, and some very similar habits apply to our mental state as well. 
Two of the best ways to begin practicing mental recovery so your mind is able to focus and perform at its best is through some form of meditation or mindfulness practice and through quality sleep. Building a habit of meditation has been shown to improve mood and emotional control, which is an important skill if you wanna continue challenging yourself to learn new things. Adapting to new skills and circumstances can be stressful, and the better you are with meditation, the more resilient your mind will be to the emotional ups and downs of each day. Meditation doesn't have to be sitting by yourself listening to your breath, by the way. While I've personally found the benefit of doing like a 10 minute mindfulness practice before I have my coffee in the morning, you can also practice meditation by going for a walk, which I know is a habit my brother Brendan prefers to do. A 2011 study from Harvard even found that mindfulness-based stress reduction can change the physical structure of your brain. By having the subject meditate for 30 minutes a day over the course of eight weeks, researchers found areas of the brain responsible for learning, memory, and emotional control grew stronger while the amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for stress and anxiety, that got smaller, which is kind of like the mental equivalent of building muscle while burning fat. But that, that's probably a, a sloppy comparison that I'm gonna leave out. Uh, <laughs> but I think it best demonstrates that our brain is responsive to various activities and stimuli just like the rest of our body. So the habits we build really do have consequences over the course of our lives. So if you wanna try looking at your mental performance the same way you look at a fitness or strength training goal, these three exercises are a great starting point to keep your mind performing at its best and to keep it healthy into the later years of your life. And if this is the topic you're interested in, then I definitely think you should check out the sponsor of today's video, Endel. Endel is an app backed by neuroscience patented technology that creates personalized sound environments to help increase focus, reduce stress, and improve sleep. I don't know if you've ever used playlists to relax or chill beats to study to. Think like that, but better. Endel is really cool because it's actually able to react to your specific location, time, weather, and even your heart rate to create custom soundscapes for you. I found it really helpful when I'm wanting to lock in and focus on my work. Typically, I listen to music, but since I've started using Endel, I found I no longer get distracted with wanting to change the song or tuning into the lyrics. Now I can simply open Endel, set the timer for how long I wanna work, and I'm off to the races without any distraction. It also works on my watch too, which is pretty handy. I can just leave my phone out of the room entirely. So if you're curious and you wanna give it a try, the first 100 people to click the link in the description will get a week free of audio experiences. So if you're looking for an app to help you relax, boost productivity and improve your sleep, then definitely give this thing a try. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.